This is a 1985 Bridgestone MB2 that I picked up on Craigslist. I had Rob Gassy of Bing Bicycle make some frame modifications. He added some rack mounts to the fork and to the seat stays, added some bottle bosses on both sides of the down tube, and changed up some cable routing for me. He also stripped the frame to bare steel. My friend Justin Jellerson nabbed this bike for me on Facebook outside of Baltimore, Maryland. Here's a picture of the bicycle as I received it and a picture from the catalog. I decided that for a finish, rather than paint the bicycle, I would opt for a raw steel finish. So to do that, I needed to treat the frame with some acid and some heat. I got set up in the industrial park where I work with a set of scaffolding. I wanted to suspend the bike from a metal frame so that I could safely hit it with acids and a torch. I hung it up with some copper wire I had lying around. And I first cleaned and degreased the frame with the metal cleaning solution and hit it with a scotch bright here and there. Very quick and dirty job. And then rinsed off the degreaser and dried it with white paper towels. And I did the fork as well. Here are some shots of the frame before I began the patination process. It's a bit more rusty than when I got it from Rob but I wasn't worried about having a perfect surface to begin with. So the first layer of patina was a darkening layer, and this took the steel to a very dark gray almost immediately. And I rinsed it to stop the reaction. Here are some pictures of the frame after the first layer of patina. And I dried it again with white paper towels. For the second layer, I needed a propane torch to warm the frame to between 180 and 220 degrees. The second layer was an attempt to develop a deep reddish brown rust. This is the frame after the second layer of patina. Some red, some brown, some orange, and some gray too. I dried the frame out really well after I was all done. And then I coated it with clear lacquer. I let that set up in the shop for four days. And this is how it looked once the lacquer had cured. You can really see the depth of the patina in direct sunlight. So I had some black Paul component cantilever brakes that I wanted to have a silver finish. So I cleaned them with simple green and then mixed up some de-anodizing solution, which you might remember from one of my recent videos. Soak the parts, wipe off the anodizing, and then I hit them on my polishing wheel. I also wanted to de-anodize an XTR MD952. So I soaked it and quickly wiped that clean, gave it a quick buff. I also had a painted Nito cable hanger. I couldn't find these available in silver, so I had to buy a black one. And with paint, 
the de-anodizing wouldn't work, so I hit it with a wire wheel. Very quick and dirty job. It doesn't look great, but it looks good enough for me. And then I wanted to make a jig for bending head badges. So I took an old piece of pine, laid out some holes, and bored some holes through that are the diameter of a seat tube and of a head tube, and then cut this in half to make a cradle. And then glued this to a base so that I could easily clamp it down if I ever wanted to. And here are the brass head badges I had made at a quick fabrication shop. I sent them a file and they sent back 25 of these head badges. They're a little rough with some burring and not a great finish. So I had to sand them on both sides and sand the edges. So to bend them, I put them in the cradle with a dowel the size of a head tube and some other dowels too to try to get that radius shaped. and I can get a pretty decent radius. I have a number of brass parts I want to put on this bike, and I want to weather them, darken them, and even put a little bit of verdigris patina on them. So I strung some cable ferrules, shift and brake ferrules, onto some copper wire and put it in a tub. And then a splash of vinegar. The vinegar goes in the bottom of the tub and aerates the parts. Here I'm using a green patina and painting on a couple of little spots on the head badges and on this vintage Brooks Conquest saddle that I bought from an eBay seller in Lithuania. These are some brass hex screws with socket heads and I'm dabbing those with some green as well. This is a badge that I aged about six months ago, and I wanted to add some of that green to this as well. Here is the result of a few head badges that I weathered. And the cable ferrules as well. This is a WTB New Paradigm Grease Guard headset that I bought from Charlie Cunningham, directly from Charlie Cunningham. It's a pretty short stack, it should work with the frame. I had this installed at my local bike shop. And here's the frame with the headset installed. It looks really dark, almost black. It's not quite as dark in real life, as you'll see towards the end of the video. You can see a bit of the variation in the surface of the metal. And there's a pump peg too that I had Rob add on the seat tube. So I'd been collecting these parts for the better part of a year and I was finally ready to build it all up.
got the frame and the stand. And started with a cheap Shimano bottom bracket. This is a 115. This is a TA Specialties crank set. It's a triple ring, but I only plan to use the two interior rings. It's a 170 millimeter length on the cranks, and it's a 48, 42, 26. Nice tight clearances with the 115 millimeter bottom bracket. And I had some of these nice TA crank caps. I've seen Peter Weigel get these down to raw brass. I tried to remove the chrome plating, but I was not successful. I also have a Sax Ray front derailleur that I wanted to use. I love the way these things look. But mine had a stripped head on one of the adjustment screws, and I couldn't get it to work out. So instead, I installed a Suntour AR front derailleur that was from my mother-in-law's SR Sake Mixti. There it is. This works great. And I installed the rear mech. And I put a 9-speed cassette on. I think that's a 1236. And I got my tires mounted. Rennie Hearse, extra lights. I've got a rat trap pass in the back and a hump tulips in the front. And I got my Paul brakes installed. You can see on this rear wheel there are some brass spoke nipples. This is a five centimeter stem. These are crust shaka bars made by Nito for crust. They are a little tricky to get through the stem. These are Suntour Superb levers, classic road levers. And here I'm installing Suntour Barcon shifters. I got some cable housing from Simworks. And I got the housing installed and started to run my cables. You'll notice that the housing on the brake levers looks a little short. I ended up switching that out. Got the front mech wired up and trimmed the cable. Got my chain on. Shift and OK. And I used some Hunter Nugs on the brakes. I've never used these before, but I really like them. And I have some crusty old Diacomp cable hangers. These came off of an MB2, and this one is spray-painted black, kind of. Here is the Dynamo headlight mount. This is uh, Bush and Mueller, either a long or a short, can't remember which. They're something like 10 bucks. Got mine from Peter White Cycles. Got the front brake wired in, some cable caps installed. And here I'm installing the pedals. These are MKS XC3 pedals. And this is a Schmidt Edelux 2 headlight. Works great. Next I installed my saddle. And I got the head badge installed with some double-sided automotive tape. And the stem I installed was too short in the overall length and too short in the horizontal length. So I swapped out the stem and had to redo my brakes and my levers 
And then I got into my bar tape. This is white new bombs that I purchased from Crust. Thanks, Garrett. And I threaded the bar tape underneath of the levers. No hoods. Nice tight job. It was a little tricky getting that run under there, but it is possible with some patience. And yeah, finished it with hemp twine, uh, of course. And tucked the little bits of twine back underneath with an awl. And to finish up the tape, I coated it with amber shellac and then literally rubbed soil into it to achieve a nice rich brown. And then hit it with some more amber shellac. And then use some denatured alcohol to remove some of the extra shellac. And 